Hey guys, how's it going? Isabelle here from Aquazone Aquarium Services, Ponds and Chickens. And today I'm going to show you how to tell if your egg has been fertilized without cracking it open so you can know if you incubate that egg or if you go ahead and eat it. Stay tuned! three eggs. Two that are very similar and one that's different. But they were all three laid by different hands. One hen I know for sure that the male has no interest in. The other two it does. Now I'm selecting eggs to put in my incubator and I'm wondering which ones should I put in the incubator that will develop into a chick and which one is just not even worth putting in the incubator because then we'll waste the space for other potential good eggs. So first I need to demonstrate to you what a fertilized egg looks on the inside. So unfortunately I will have to sacrifice these two eggs to show you the inside of them to show you what fertilization really looks like. These aren't the same eggs that I just showed you that we're gonna make the test of. These ones are right here. These ones are simply to show you the inside. Alrighty. So I actually had to crack three in total because the first two I opened up were fertilized. So here I'm going to show you what the inside of a fertilized egg actually looks like. First we're going to show you what an unfertilized egg looks like inside. You see that little spot here? That's the unfertilized egg, okay? Versus a fertile egg that has this very, very common bullseye. See bullseye, very clear bullseye, that means it's been fertilized, right? This one's much clearer than this one actually. And unfertilized. Please review both of them side to side. And this is how you know that your eggs are fertilized, okay? There's a difference between fertile and fertilized. Most of your eggs are fertile, okay? They just need to be fertilized by a cock or a rooster. So here we know what the inside looks like. Now we need to determine if any of these eggs can go in the incubator, meaning if they're fertilized. I know by experience that one of my hens is not being courted by my rooster. But I need to know if the other two are good enough to be put in the incubator. For that, I'll need to do a little touch of magic. For this, you will need a quartz crystal. This is quartz. It comes in several different colors. Um, to better use this crystal, you'll need it to be on a long chain. And one special thing I like to do with a quartz crystal is charge it a couple of hours in front of sunlight. Crystals such as quartz are considered to be actually living beings. They're living stones carrying a lot of energy. They're used in a lot of Nikola Tesla experiments with electricity and energy. And they're especially charged when they're exposed to UV rays of the sunlight. Uh, a lot of uh, sandy beaches are actually made out of quartz. That's why you have this rejuvenating effect when you actually walk on a sandy beach down south in front of the sun. So we will use this crystal to determine if the eggs are fertilized. So in here I'll put the most obvious egg that I know is fertilized, okay? The other two that are lookalikes were just to prove the theory, okay? This is actually something that, it, it sounds just like magic, but it actually works because this is made out of an energetic crystal and life carries energy, okay? So we'll put that long, long thing uh, above the egg and if it spins, <laughs> I'm going to move it away so it doesn't spin right away. If, if the crystal spins, there is life inside of the egg. If it only goes like this, now it's just me making it, like, or it doesn't move at all, that means it's, there's no life inside of the egg. Let's put it above, okay? And, and I, I promise you I am not moving my hand, okay? Put it above the egg and see what happens.
you see how the egg carries a lot of energy? I'll even bring it a bit closer here. It's spinning and hard. That means the egg is very, very full of energy. There's a little chicken that could develop inside if we incubate it. Now we have these two eggs. One is fertile, one is not. I'll start with the one that I know for certainly is fertilized, okay? We'll remove the one that I know is not. I'll take my little uh, crystal here and I'll put it right above, okay? I'm releasing it and then we'll see what happens. I am not moving my hand. So there's a few things on the table, but as you can see, I am not moving my hand. And I'll bring even closer. See? Look at the energy this egg carries. It's full of life. Whoa, oh my God. Look, look, look. It's crazy, no? Okay. Now on to the little egg that the rooster doesn't show any interest in my hand. And I know for certain that was one of the batch of eggs that I showed you that had a tiny little dot inside that didn't have the bullseye of fertilization. So again, my hand not moving. We put it right above. Okay. The little motions you see is just me, like, breathing. I'm trying not to move, but as you can see, nothing is happening. Nothing. Let's bring the other one in. I'll put this one and this one close to each other. You'll see the difference. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> okay. Fertilized egg. Holy moly. Do you see this? My hand is not moving at all. Okay. Carries a lot of life. Look. Insane. Put above this one. Nothing. Put above this one. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> So that's it guys. I hope uh, you did the experiment at, at your farm or your little homestead and I hope it works for you and you can safely now incubate this one and eat this one. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. <laughs> bye bye.